Right, hi everyone. This is a... I haven't made a video for quite a while, actually. Simply because I'm super busy. Um, just don't get time. Um, got so much to work on. But anyway, I'm doing this one because I've had three messages recently asking exactly the same question. Trying to answer it on a message. <sighs> it just, I was there ages the other day just trying to explain it, trying to, and they didn't under, they, they weren't getting it. And uh, so I'm doing a video. Hopefully it'll help. Um, this is my third attempt, so simply because it wasn't doing it, so I'm doing a different camera now. Um, the GoPro on my head, it was too far away, so it wasn't working. So I'm going to try it on this and see how we get on. But right, what we've got, I've just got a selection of different types here, um, just to explain the basics. As you can see, they're all different in some sort of way. Too many people think, oh, I can buy that wheel and it'll fit this one, or it, it doesn't. So you can make sure you match. Check your model numbers. Um, use your label on the power nozzle itself or on your Hoover. Ideally, always go off the power nozzle model simply because I've known Shark. When they send out a replacement bit, they know the replacement models fit. So, like, uh, take that one for some, for example. That's a NV six hundred one UKT, I presume. Yeah, NV six hundred one UKT. Uh, similar model is looks the same. NV six hundred UKT, and some of the components can be different. But what they do if they have to send you a new, um, yours is broken, so they send out a replacement. They might send a different model. So always try to go off your the label on the power nozzle not rely on the label on, on your upright um, however like on this one no label so then you would have to try and just make sure that when you're buying it it, it all matches um, this is an IF 250 UKT um, this same series, IF130 UK. As you can see, they're two different type wheels. Um, this is what I call a capped axle, and this just the basic. But I mean, I do sell parts on eBay. That's what I do. That's my business, and uh, I will say for this series only, for this series only, these I sell for nine 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 pound ninety nine a pair, and. Uh, yeah, they're cheaper. These fourteen ninety nine, simply because I can't get enough of these. Um, I sell out of these regularly, so yeah. But these will fit that, and vice versa. So if you want to save yourself five pound, if you got these, but you're happy to put these on, that's what I do, because there's no there's no difference. Um, but anyway, that's going off topic. This is about changing them. So. Uh, We'll start with this. This is a more modern cordless type. Principles are the same. Uh, as you see, middle of the wheel, there's a screw. Not the one at the back. The one at the back is holding the two plastics together. So what you're after is that screw. And vice versa on that side. And it's literally screw undo and then this is these are usually pretty straightforward and easy to pull out on this series this is the 300 uk so this is the icz it's long so icz 300 uk but yeah and then what you can do see so your axles within there and then your little cover sharp cover cap but that's all it is on these not too difficult principles on all of them the same um but the axles do differ so only buy from the model you got and then that's it we'll back on all good so that's that one we'll get that one out of the way 
Right, now we go. What can I do for older style? This one, oh, I did, didn't mention the, the bit. This is, right, I buy these on eBay. I buy packs. I had packs now, I'd show you, but I don't think I do. No, usually I've got spare packs, but I don't know where they are. Anyway, uh, T20, T15, I don't know. What is it? Oh, I got a message. Anyway, but yeah, it's a torch bit, hole in the end. There we go. You can see. And, uh, yeah, so that's, but they're, they differ because on this one, we've got to use posi bit. It's an older type, so it's, it's just a straightforward, straightforward thing, yeah, but once again, and then it's pulling. Well, I've got to pull it without trying to knock the camera. Ah, right, there we go. Right. So all that is, there you go. That's a circular end uh, of a model's change, differ. So we'll get into that in a minute. But that's all it is. Before ordering, do it, you know, these I think I'd sell 999 for this model uh, on eBay, standard. Um, but test, do a test one before ordering. You know, if you can't do it, or if you test it and take it out and you've got damage in there, there's no point buying a wheel. The wheel's only going to fix the wheel issue. It won't fix if you've got damaged plastics in there. That's just a whole case. If you can get it. Yeah. But when refitting, we just push, this is basic, so they just get pushed on, to make sure it spins, and pop the screw back in. The problem this type isn't easy because the screw isn't, it's sort of, mm, it's that frustrating, not quite long enough where you can, So they've gone pretty straightforward. Um, however, when we get to these, these I have found in the past to be the worst. Um, real struggle to get off. Right. And before, before I use that torx bit, now I'm having to use a different size bit because they are different size. When I get asked about what bits do I need, what size bit do I need, I can't answer that. And a quick explanation, I've had four exactly the same models before, not necessarily this model, but I've had four exactly the same models before and I'm doing four at a time. And three of them would have one type of size screw heads, the other one completely different, which really is annoying because then I've got to try and find a bit for it. And, uh, yeah, so I can't tell you. These bits, though, I think they cost, like, six quid on eBay for a set of 11. And, uh, yeah, then you get all sizes, which pretty much does all the job. But once again, one screw and these. Look, if you do struggle, like, sometimes you can just pull it out a bit. You can really... What I'm trying to do is just get a bit of a gap, pull it out enough. Right. What I mean by that is then, where has it gone? I've got a little flat screwdriver or I've got this stumpy broke off knife. Knife? Knife? Did I say knife? I don't know. But anyway, sometimes you can just pry that out of it then because they really can be difficult. 
I'm going to have to just try and wiggle it out a bit more. There we go, there's a bit of a gap, so I should. There we go, you can see. You probably can. No. So anyway, now I've got the screwdriver in there, you can sort of prise it against and sort of twist it. And there we go. So that's pulled that out. And as you can see, these are different because see that little flat bit excuse my nails i haven't cut them for a while i've been meaning to do it the last couple of days but just don't get around with and anyway, yeah so you can see you can't just buy a set of shark wheels and think they're going to fit because they do differ quite a lot so anyway that's the principle and then obviously when you're refitting just twist it till it sort of wants to go back in place Push it on through. There we go, push it on through. I'm going to give it another. Make sure it's still freely spinning. And once again. Done. Now, these type are the worst. still the same is that it the same the principle on this is all the same um when it comes to these sharp power nozzles i don't know if there's a different type uh, i haven't come across the principle is always the same axle screw but yeah these now, because i've done this is my third attempt at this video these have come out pretty easily but these can be really really stiff so, obviously you're replacing um, because you've got a damaged wheel. So, what I would suggest is, what happens is these do spring a bit. Right. And when you push it, you might be able to, once again, get a bit of a gap. Once you've got a bit of a gap, you may be able to prise it out. Um, but again, because these are capped, you might end up, the cap can come off. You know, and then you're left with just the axle. Um, but then you're going back to doing the same as what I've done on that one. Just get a bit out and then prise it against the wheel. And hopefully, eventually it comes out. Um, but they, are, they can be, uh, yeah, very tricky sometimes. I'm not going to lie. You know, they're not the easiest. And when you're refitting... You just got to make sure one you've got to push it in but then pull it back out to get gap because otherwise the, the wheel won't spin freely on these but the principle is the same but yeah um i don't know whether i've mentioned it already but i've had it before where because i take them apart in a way so i'm taking all the cover apart so i'm taking them out and all that and getting rid of that so for me sometimes i don't mess about trying to damage them that way you know if i know i'm taking it apart and they're not coming out i'm not gonna force to damage that so what i will i'll take it all apart and then i've got this flat screwdriver bit which i just put there and then with a hammer just you know just tap it just tap the end of the the axle and that will pull it out that way but that means you've got to take it apart which you don't really want to do um i will just do this one quickly you've probably got all the information you need by now so you don't really have to i'm literally just doing this one because I'm showing you how once again the axle is totally different it's a lot smaller a lot smaller to the other ones and uh yeah so once again always match your model number if you can and beware of those people on, on ebay and there is absolutely stacks of them who put the wrong model number in um i can go all day 
for looking at people, putting wrong model numbers in. So, uh, it's principally why I keep my, my list in simple, as in, I describe only for a certain model usually. It is annoying, and this is a annoying thing, which I think eBay should abolish, is when you're listing, you have to put a compatible model number in. You have to put a compatible brand, and then you've got to do a compatible model number. And uh, what happens is, is like this, as a demonstration, this is AX910 UKT. So I'll put that in the model number. And obviously it's a shark brand. So when it says compatible brand, I just put four shark. It's simple as that. It's not going to fit any other make. But when it comes to the model, I will put AX910 UK. Because it's the same. It's the same wheels used on those two models. All it is, this is a rose gold um, colour. Um, vacuum whereas the UK is a purple version but when people are searching on eBay so you really only want to find parts for I will say the shark AZ910 UK you want the purple version you only want that well because I've put UK in the compatible because it is compatible you will end up seeing the rose gold come up which I think is wrong if you're going to type your part number in, your your model number in, you should only see that model, and it would make it would make it easier for any potential buyer looking for the right part. But eBay, yeah, that's one thing that I don't like. Um, but you have to put it in there. If you don't put it in there, you can't list. So you have to put something in there. You can, I don't know, put a NA not applicable i suppose but then ebay don't like that either so yeah so when you are looking don't just rely on what people are putting in the listing actually look at it actually inspect it and just make sure that that's the right part number for yours and always go off the power nozzle if you've got a model number on it right i'm done rambling waffling hopefully it helps uh, like I said, I've got loads of messages, well, three or four messages, two or three messages, I don't know. I know definitely three recently asking the same, how to do it. This is what this is. This video is about, trying to help. Because trying to explain, it's easy on the video. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. 